is a pretty versatile program uh, or application of, or game development tool. Uh, it takes pretty much any imaginable uh, 3D file format. Uh, but I'm going to use Maya for our presentation. So Maya to Unity, Photoshop to Unity. Uh, we're going to import animated meshes to Unity, static meshes and uh, um, animated meshes, and uh, work with particle systems. Um, I have a pretty, you know, neat-looking spaceship. Um, uh, I built, you know, not for this presentation, but I built in the past. Uh, it's really, you know, it's low poly for casual games for mobile devices. So um, um, uh, we're gonna take it, we're gonna texture it, we're gonna create particles with it, and uh, then we're gonna take all that information and through um, um, uh, your extension, we're gonna bring it to the real world. So I think it's gonna be interesting. Yes. Could you just define casual games for me? Like casual games. Oh wow! Well, there are, there are so games. so many definitions. <laughs> it's um, um, simple games um, that do, don't require uh, much time commitment. Uh, learning curve is pretty quick, although these days casual games can become really complicated. Uh, but um, very addicting with simple gameplay. That's that's pretty much it. Uh, typical places where you can find them are online and mobile devices. Uh, on computer as well, but mostly online and mobile devices. Um, all right, so um, <coughs> any questions before I get started? Okay. Um, I was wondering if I can change the resolution here because I'm going to need a little bit more space. So as I said, I'm going to be building everything from scratch. Let's see what I'm going to be starting with. Now what I have is a folder um, presented through the R pipeline. <coughs> This is this is Maya database. As you can see, as you as you know, maybe maybe not, uh, Maya organizes files into a project, and um, you know it keeps textures in a certain place, it keeps scenes in a certain place. Um, um, Unity has its own project system, so this belongs to Maya. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder right here, call it Maya, and uh, drop this entire project. Entire project into my folder. I will allocate this space for for the Unity project. I'm going to open the Unity, and you guys are going to like it because I'm working on uh, uh, you know my, I have my own company, so I'm working on my own game. Um, uh, it, it, it's a 2D monster shooter. You know, there was a spaceship. In, I mean, uh, there was a, a stranded ship in the middle of the ocean, and these monsters are coming from both hands, and you've got to, you've got to shoot them off. So uh, it's going to look cute, but um, it's like a tower defense game. It's it's kind of like a tower defense game, uh, except you don't build any towers. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you the boat, the boat's your tower, right? But yeah, yeah, the boat is my tower. Yeah, you can think about it as, as, as a tower. Yes. First person shooter. All right. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna create a new uh, new project. And I'm gonna allocate that space I created on on the, on the desktop. So presenting, presenting 3D art pipeline in Unity. I'm going to name my project um, Spaceship and save the project. Blank scene, don't have anything. Now looking at my folder, I have a Spaceship project, which belongs to Unity now. So all the assets you create, whether they're models, textures, or you can sounds, or you can anything, anything you want to do in your save scenes, 
goes right into assets. If I will create a folder inside assets, let's call this one something original like Sam is cool. <laughs> Unity will pick up that. So whatever you do, whether inside Unity or on your um, in your finder or you know within your file system, as long as it's inside assets folder, will reflect here in the Unity project. I can also create uh, things here. For example, we'll create another one, another folder for Unity now, and uh, just leave it. Yeah. So let's call it the model. Going into Finder, you will see that that's reflected or should be reflected. Excellent. And it's not. Well, it should be here. Oh, in models for a spaceship, within a spaceship. You guys are sharp. Wow. Right here, exactly, to assets. And we have the model right there. <coughs> so right next to Sam's group. So usually what I do, uh, when I build projects, I create uh, folders for scripts, I create folders for models, I create uh, for sounds, for textures, for, you know, pretty much, um, uh, you know, respect things. So I'm going to create textures. And that is pretty much all I need. I'm going to have just model, uh, models and textures. So models and textures. Now I just need to bring some things from Maya and from Photoshop into, into these two folders. You can do it if you already have your assets, like I do, for example, inside Maya folder. Inside my folder, I do have a model of a spaceship already, or I do have, and I do have a texture already. So I'm going to go into source images, and here's the texture for the spaceship. It was created, it's a multi layered file in Photoshop. Multi layer file with textures, I mean with, uh, with uh, channels, uh, with some effects and layers, and all that information will be taken into consideration when you're doing the Unity. Um, it, it's a kind of a back and forth pipeline between Unity and Photoshop. Whatever you create, whatever changes you make in Photoshop, as long as you save your file, it will immediately be updated inside Unity. So you don't have to refresh anything, it just goes both ways. In Unity, uh, well, So as you can see, I have, um, it's a multi-layer file, I have tons of stuff here um, inside uh, a folder. I have my UV information here, and so you that. Um, I, I have some overlay folders, uh, or uh, layers. I have some channels, which will define specific areas of the texture to do certain things in Unity, and I'll show you what exactly I want. I want that area to grow inside Unity. So the way I'm going to identify it is through the alpha channel. So that's that. I'm going to take the spaceship texture and just drop it into the textures folder, which is already part of the Unity assets. Looking inside Unity, you can see it shows me now the rest of some things inside textures folder. If I will open it up, I have my spaceship texture right here. Going back and copying one more thing. The spaceship model itself. I'm going to drop it into a model. Process it and now it's there. Spaceship model. So, how do we integrate those elements? I'm going to take the spaceship model and split that, either drop it into the hierarchy of my scene or into the scene itself. And now it's ready to be animated and it's ready to be 
integrated into the game if you're working on the game. Now, integrating textures are quite easy as well. Now, the model itself was obviously built in Maya, and the Unity Unwrap was done in Maya as well. So it's textured already. We just need to bring the texture and the assignment to this particular model. We can do it in multiple different ways. As you can see, when I brought the spaceship model, it came with materials folder. And there is a spaceship model lambda one, so a material which belongs to that particular model. I can either utilize that particular material, or I can create a brand new one and you know um, use a different material. Or I can completely customize this one. Any way you want to go about it, it's, it's fine. So taking the texture itself, I can uh, do as simple as just the drag and drop on top of my model, and it's done. Now obviously, all that was pre-built inside my If I want to make any changes to the texture itself, or if I want to make any changes to the model, what I can do is I can um, open up Maya, open up the, um, the scene, or open up Photoshop, open up the texture, and work inside, make changes, and save them, and the Unity will update those changes. Or, I can simply just double click on either a texture or my model right here, in the project window, and uh, it will open up that particular um, asset in its respective application. So if I'll double click on the spaceship texture, <coughs> open it up in Photoshop. So if you want to do something as simple as change the glass to green, you can, I can do it right Photoshop now. it. And yep, I'm actually going to do that right now. 